Alright, hello, hello there. Uh, let's try this again. I failed first commentary because my Audacity program is broken. I had to uninstall and reinstall it. But anyway, we, uh, we are playing a little bit of Domination on Grid. And I think the last time I actually had a uh, gameplay on this map, I said Gridlock because I'm a Gears of War fanboy. But anyway, um... The reason I want to make this video today is because I want to talk about the haters, and some of you may have already seen this gameplay uh, for a very unfortunate reason, but if you have not, uh, to let you know, it is not a good gameplay. Uh, this is probably one of the worst games I've had in a very, very long time. I actually go negative in this game. Um, well, not the worst game. You guys saw a game not too long ago where I went like 9 and 37, um, but this game, I was... Uh, I was trying to do well and I, I didn't do well um, and you'll see me switch the AK 74 u at one point and that's kind of when I when I get to, to that point it's not to get kills it's to win um, and I, I just don't play very well I, I play poorly and uh, we just we just get our asses kicked so um regardless I kind of want to talk about uh, the haters and how to deal with the haters. And I can't say that I am a role model in that department because I still feel like I'm learning. I, I'm still going through some things. I'm still learning through different experiences, kind of um, how to deal with them on my own. And uh, the way I've gone about it so far is just ignore them straight up. Just, you know, someone says something negative, there's no reason to respond. There's no reason to uh, say anything. And if I do respond to maybe like a negative comment or something, uh, I leave it at that. I don't, I don't continue on. I don't uh, keep pressing the issue. Uh, I'll say what I need to say, and then bam, I'm done. I don't, I don't reply to whatever the person has to say next. And I feel like that if you're gonna respond, that's the best way to go about it. But uh, in the end, I think the best way you can go about it is to not respond at all, is to not give them what they want, and that is, uh, that is attention, feedback, uh, whatever they seem to be uh, wanting with, um, you know, whatever their necessity is when it comes to. Uh, putting out trolling videos of bad gameplay and uh, calling you a punk, a punk teenager. Um, now, now I feel like uh, when older people do that, call. Um, I'm not gonna say names because it's just I don't I don't even know why from why I'm actually gonna be responding to this. It's just it's on my mind. A lot of people uh, kind of saw the video that went out, and you guys can probably find it if you want to. But I uh, I feel like I need to kind of clear the air and kind of. Uh, kind of give my side of the story because um, if you watch the video it really makes me sound like an asshole and I'm really not like I'm a I'm pretty or I'd like to think that I'm a pretty nice kid I'm a uh, I'm fairly outgoing like you know I'm not I'm not a dickhead I'm not stuck up whatsoever I'm very appreciative of what of where I am in terms of uh, the success that this has all given me and uh, it's really unfortunate when someone older than me calls me out because I may uh you know, I, I've never, I've never called anyone out. I've, I've never, ever, not once, ever called any a single person out uh, on YouTube, and I never will because that's not what I do. Uh, there's no reason for me to do that. And right here, I know we we're losing B, but uh, I was waiting to see the red text pop up before I, before I pushed in because I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be an easy death because they're gonna be able to see my red text. And uh, the red text ended up popping up like right as they capped, so that was unfortunate. That was just that was just my bad. I should have rushed in there anyway and tried to get the kill. Oh well, it happens. Um, what was I gonna say? But um, it's like I said, it's really unfortunate when I see uh, older people who are doing the same thing as me. But uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's more of a jealousy aspect because I've found I've I'm not trying to be like be on a high horse here at all. Because uh, I'm not trying to say, you know, trying to rub something in someone's face, but if I was if I was an older person and I was doing this exact same thing, and someone younger than me had found success in it, I think I would be more, uh, you know, proud of that person. I think I'd be appreciative of that person's uh, success in that aspect. Like, okay, he's younger than me. He's obviously doing something right. He's he's doing a good job. Uh, you know, I I feel like I would go about it that way. Maybe that's just me, but it it, it kind of. It's kind of rough when I see older people who should be who should be even more mature than me um, seem to uh, troll me or uh, trying to trying to uh, I don't know, belittle me in some fashion, which is really unfortunate because uh, I feel like I'm one of the types of people who really don't deserve that at all. And um, you'll hear that um, I I talk shit. 
Um, when you play when you play Call of Duty against me, and for those of you who have, or if you've ever played with me, you'll know that I I'm always in a party. I'm, I'm always in a party chat when I when I'm playing uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Pretty much any game, I'm always in a in a party with whoever I'm playing with. And the reason for that is because I don't care for talking shit or talking trash. Uh, 24 7 to the other team you know I have my moments where I'm just like I'm gonna I'm gonna feed the fire a little bit you know I'm gonna troll and uh, you know I'll do that that's fine but uh, in terms of just talking shit to other teams um, if they if if you know if someone says something to me I'm not gonna just sit there and ignore it I'll, I'll say something back that's completely fine but there's no reason for me to start crap or just talk shit over a video game I mean it's pathetic it's a it's a game guys we're, we're here we're all on the same thing playing it because it's fun, it's enjoyable, it's like, it's what we like to do. Um, I could honestly give two shits if you beat my team and you kill us and destroy us. Um, if the game is fun, then I'm fine. I don't care. And uh, it was just, it was really unfortunate because in this situation, um, you know, we played this game, I got done with the game, and then I was prece I proceeded to get three messages telling me that I'm a fake, I'm an imposter, I'm not nearly as good as the real Gold Glove, and all this stuff. And I just simply messaged the guy back and said, "Oh man, I had a rough game. I I'm I'm pretty sure I'm the real one. Uh, I'm not I'm not an imposter or anything. I'm not a fanboy." And uh, but I was proceeded or the person proceeded to uh, to just hassle the situation and just uh, continue saying that I was fake. So that was kind of unfortunate. And I think. I think at that moment I was just like, okay, well here you go, and uh, I kind of I kind of tweeted out and told everybody to uh, message this guy on Xbox and just tell and just say hello. Like that's simply all I said. I was like, I was like, yeah, go tell this guy say hello, and that was it. And uh, I know I know a lot of you guys kind of take it to an extreme, and uh, I didn't I didn't mean anything like, uh, you know, discouraging about it. I didn't mean to uh, go threaten this guy or go bully on him. And uh, so I, I kind of wanted to clear the air there. I had no intention of doing that. I was just trying to, trying to make this guy understand that you know I had a bad game. I was the real one, but I was just I was just sucking a big a big a big D in this game. You know, simple as that. It's just what happens sometimes. You just play poorly. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, hate is hate is gonna happen. It's it's gonna happen, and especially I feel like it's especially gonna be um, kind of aimed towards me because I am the. Uh, I feel like. In terms of generations, when it comes to uh, the commentators or the or the Call of Duty guys, um, I'm on the younger side of things. I know me, X Jaws, uh, Muzza Fuzza, uh, Trout, Sam. We are kind of younger, and the majority of the guys who have found success in this field um, are are in their 20s or in their 30s. And I'm not I'm not 20 yet. I, I will be 20 in April, so I'm not in that department yet. But uh, very soon, very soon, I'll be there. Um, so I feel like because I'm kind of younger, a lot of people think I'm I'm a punk kid. Uh, I think I'm on a high horse, or I'm not deserving of uh, of my position. And um, I just want people to understand that I'm I'm very appreciative of where I am and what I what I've gotten and uh, what you guys have uh, you know in the in the long run have given me. Because if it wasn't for you guys, I, I wouldn't be here at all. And I'm I'm very appreciative of the success that my channel's gotten. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys understand that I, I'm really sincere when I mean that because I, you know, I don't take it for granted. I don't think that, um, you know, I don't think that I did this all on my own. Uh, I just put out videos. You guys seem to enjoy them, and that's all I can ask for. So, anyways, guys, the final note I would say is if you have haters, ignore them. I'm trying to teach myself that same lesson, and uh, hopefully I will figure it out one day. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I have been Gold Glove, and I will talk to you guys later. Take it easy.